everyone, it's Jennifer, the Chronic Health Advocate. I haven't done an update for a while and I just thought I'd do a quick update, a quick bit of information on who should do the write-up for your GoFundMe campaign. Before we get started on that, I'd just like to bring up um, who you think should be opening the account. Um, it doesn't matter who opens the account, whether it's the person that the funds are to be uh, designated for or uh, maybe a friend, family, someone who they really trust. Obviously, it should be a very trusted individual who's running that because my cat's at the door. <laughs> oh, working from home. Um, because generally, it's a lot of money that you're talking about, a fair bit of money. So obviously, you want to make sure that they can be trusted with that entire process. So you might think that that would be the person who should be writing the campaign, and it doesn't have to be. You should really find the person who can best put into words um, to make it touching, appealing to people, kind of pull their heartstrings if that's what you're going for. And um, it doesn't have to be the person who set up the account. So you may think that perhaps the best person to do that would be the person that the funds are going to be designated for. And that kind of makes sense because when you think about it, that person is the one who knows their situation um, the best. Okay, so you might think that that's the way to go, but um, I would say no. <laughs> and here's why. I got all flustered. And here's why. So for some reason in our society, we, we frown upon people who are asking for handouts and um, those sorts of things. We shouldn't, but a lot of people do. And I find if the request is coming from someone other than the individual, then it almost uh, helps validate the request that this is somebody who knows such and such and knows their situation and knows that the the money is needed for this rather than just the person um, asking for the money and from what I've seen is generally when I look at a campaign or I've looked at something I see online and it's somebody asking themselves I don't find it's um, real. <laughs> I don't find uh, it's as um, well received as the ones that have someone else doing it for them. That's not to say that the person who the funds are for should be left out of the process. They obviously have to approve of anything that posts before it posts, especially um, because often there's medical information or personal information and you don't want to put that out there without clearing it with them. And you may, in fact, ask that person if they want to do up a draft, because they might have something else to put in there, or maybe something you don't know. Oh, come in. Hi. Make sure whoever <laughs> does, make sure whoever does the uh, write-up knows the family or the person well, and it make sure they are able to kind of tap into what resonates with people to give them money. So sometimes it's like really pulling those heartstrings and sometimes you have to give personal information and that has, they'll know what they're comfortable with kind of being out there. So I do offer uh, services because I do uh, writing for various uh, things and that is something that I do because I've done obviously a lot of fundraising for myself, our family, and for other people and organizations. So I do offer that as a service if you want someone to look at the information and write up a good little, a good, a good history and a good, a good campaign. You have me totally flustered, you know that? You goofball. Um, yeah, so I'll post the link there to where you can go check that out. Um, on my Fiverr website uh, that's all listed for you um, but certainly you don't have to go with me lots of other people who can do that for you um, but I'd be I can do it too
Anyway, that's it for now. We'll be back another time. Bye. Why? Why, cat? Why? Why is it always you or the dog or the basket of laundry in the videos? Why? Now I understand why my husband didn't like teaching from home.